everybody, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my favorite paranormal romance books or series. This is the other half of the poll that I did on my Insta stories. So I really liked doing that, you know, giving you guys an opportunity to kind of vote on the next upcoming, you know, videos that I want to do and which ones y'all are most excited about. So this is the other one. I thought these were pretty close in, you know, voting numbers. So I went ahead and decided to do it anyway. So I have a couple of physical books as well as ebooks to get to, so let's go ahead and get started. So the very first book I want to talk about is How to Marry a Millionaire Vampire by Carolyn Sparks. This is one of the very first vampire paranormal romance books I actually ever read in the adult genre, and this book I picked up in my freshman year of high school. So I remember sitting in homeroom, I'm sure you don't really care about this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So I remember sitting in my homeroom class in ninth grade and seeing a girl reading this book, and then later on I saw her reading Twilight. So I ended up getting a lot of book recommendations from this girl, and I loved the books, and I was just really, really shy, and never went up and talked to her about them, which I really do regret, but anyways. So this is a romantic romantic comedy paranormal book. So the main guy character, he is a vampire and something happens, his fang ends up breaking off in the middle of the night and he ends up having to go to a 24 hour dentist and that's where our main character works and she is there to fix his, you know, problem with his fang not being in his mouth anymore. So obviously there is a lot of laughter and fun times. I really want to reread this book as well. So each of the books in the series follows a different set of characters. This one obviously follows a, the millionaire vampire and the dentist. And the second book, if I remember correctly, it's like a producer and they're trying to come up with this show for vampires that's similar to like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. And that was really fun to watch. So I hold this series so close to my heart. It is one of the very first romance series that I ever picked up and it is one of the first paranormal series that I ever picked up. And I'm pretty sure I read this book before I read Twilight if I'm not mistaken. So if you're looking for a paranormal, lighthearted romance with Scottish Highlander vampires in the mix there as well, definitely pick this up because it is a lot of fun. So the last physical book that I want to talk about is the Dark Fever series. I really did enjoy this. This is a fey series and it's really, really slow burn. Like nothing really happens with the two characters until like, I don't even know how many books in, but a lot. And I remember reading these books and loving them and I've gotten to like book eight or so in it and I just never continued on because I was waiting for the new release and then I just never picked it back up again. So this series is about a girl named Michaela who ends up coming from America to Ireland because she gets a phone call or a voicemail from her sister that's very mysterious and her sister's missing so she goes all the way over there to try and find her. The main love interest that she has owns a bookstore, so I mean, what more could you want from it? Slow burn, fey romance. So yeah, this is a great older series to pick up because I mean, you don't have to wait for like the next installment like I had to do and then you forget all about it, so yeah definitely a really good one. So another great paranormal series is the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. I've literally like been so tongue-tied with this series title and I can't say it, but yes, the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward. This is an extremely popular series. It is like 17 something books long now. So yeah, again, another series that you don't have to wait to pick up the next one because they're already there. So this is also another book that I plan on rereading very, very soon. It is on one of my my TBRs for all of these readathons that are going on and I'm really excited to jump back into it. But yes, like the series by Carolyn Sparks, each of the books follows a different set of characters and I remember loving and devouring these books and just like the mystery aspect and the danger and it's just like the romances are written so well and like I read this when vampire romances were huge. So yeah, basically I love a good vampire and I'm waiting for them to come back and be really popular so I can devour all of the vampire goodness. If you are looking for a good long series, paranormal vampire one, this is a really good one to pick up. So if you like the reverse harem genre, the Veil Diaries series is absolutely amazing. I love this series so much. It's one of my favorites and I recommend it to you if you like 
RH or paranormal or anything like that. It is so much fun. The main character, Lexi, she is a necromancer. So something happens to the veil and basically the veil is what separates the living world from the dead world and like something's blocked. So the ghosts and the people who pass away can't move on. It's causing a lot of issues, you know, in the real world and she has to save the day and she is the only one who can do it. So this series has more than just her being a necromancer. There's werewolves, there's witches, different things like that. And I think this is so much fun. She is a kick butt character that is very strong and the guys that she's with are absolutely amazing and I love every single one of them. And if you are interested in picking up an RH, paranormal book definitely try these out because I love them alrighty guys thank you so much for watching my paranormal romance recommendations these are some of my absolute favorite paranormal books some of these I read years and years and years ago and hold such a dear place in my heart and if you have any thoughts or opinions or have any book recommendations for me as well I would love to hear about it and chat about it in the comments down below and I hope you have a great day and happy reading bye